Hey beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV. Today we are back with another beautiful look and today's hair is sponsored by Mega Look Hair. Now before we get into the wig, they sent me over some goodies. They gave me a melt band, some lashes, an edge brush, a cap, and of course the wig itself. And this is a 24 inch body weight wig and it is 13 by 6 full parting space. So y'all know we're going to take advantage of this parting space today and this wig is super super full and super soft and this is what the hairline looks like fresh out of the packaging and I did go ahead and bleach the knots you know pluck the wig a little bit more and we're gonna jump straight into this install so first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and add the foundation onto the lace but this is what the wig looks like I mean y'all know Shari does have a really small forehead and but you know we gonna melt this thing going down and get it styled perfectly so just starting off with that ruby kisses foundation and i am using level 15 and i'm using a combination of both shades in that palette and i'm just applying it all over the lace and i'm also going to apply it on the top of the lace as well because this is a transparent lace and to get your transparent lace to melt perfectly you want to make sure that you apply enough foundation product to make sure that it really blends in because this lace is a little brighter and sometimes it can be you know a little thicker but with that being said we're going to go ahead and start getting this thing melted on down so we're going to go in with our lace made adhesive and i'm using a mega size bottle and i'm just going to apply my layers and then we'll begin to tack the wig on down So now that we have our layers added, we're going to go ahead and begin to push that lace into that glue. And the hairline is looking super natural and you can already tell it's going to be a meltdown. So after I apply the wig on the side where I needed to lay, um, I'm going to go ahead and just take the comb and just comb that lace in, just applying pressure. Then I'm going to have Shari hold it. Then I'm going to apply the lace on the other side as well and have Shari hold it and with this side um, I did go back in while Shari was holding the lace down and just pluck it a little bit more in a certain area just for the most natural realistic results especially because we're doing a nice little two ponytail look so you want the area with the no baby hairs to still look super natural 
and melt it down. So I'm just gonna take my tweezers really quickly and do a quick pluck, just a few strands, nothing too, you know, crazy. And then I'm going to blow dry the lace in and tie it down with the melt belt. And now I'm just applying the melt with the uh, the melt belt with the air protectors on there, and just going to tie that down and let that secure. And off camera, I did go ahead and sew down the back of the wig. So after I finished that, I came back on to remove the melt belt. And now we're going to get into cutting off the extra lace from around the hairline, and then tacking down whatever edges still need to be glued down. But uh, so far, guys, loving this wig. Like, super full, super pretty. And the final look was everything. But now we're going to go ahead and take the eyebrow razor and raise off all of that extra lace from around the hairline. And once we do that and we tack that down, we will go ahead and start prepping for the styling.
So now that we have tacked down all of the lace, I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping for the styling. And I'm creating like a curved section, like a curved part um, for the you know front part of the lace. And then I'm doing a straight across for the back, of course, so we could cover up the tracks. But this is a curved part that I'm doing. And then I'm gonna take my wax stick and my hot comb and just sleek that area down first. Pull out the section for my baby hairs and then wax stick and hot comb up that point detail section and then we will go ahead and secure it with the rubber band but I'm going to work on the uh, perimeter first um, as far as you know sleeking hot combing and sectioning off before we get into sleeking the hair and doing the ponytail And now I'm just gonna go ahead and take me a little rubber band and I'm gonna secure this section after I finish hot combing it and making it as sleek and as neat as possible. And I'm also gonna reinforce it with the little holding spray, the even holding spray. I see I got Shari passing me the rubber bands, being my little assistant as she should. Y'all, I'm gonna teach Shari how to do these wigs because I don't know what she think this is, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put her on, child. And that's thing I know y'all gonna be seeing Shari doing wigs, but um, nevertheless, y'all, I'm taking that rubber band and just securing the little ponytail. And I didn't do it straight back. I did it like kind of downwards towards the corner because we are gonna add the butterfly clips and we're gonna curl this thing up and just make it like a cute little girly, you know, style, nice, sleek, neat, and pretty. And everything that I'm doing to this side, guys, you know, I will be doing it to the other side and just making it as symmetrical as possible.
and let's get into it the ponytails is ponytailing and it's looking so cute so what i'm gonna do now is go ahead and spray down the hairline and i'm going to tie it down with the melt bell i don't do the ponytails i got that nice and sleek and everything like that so we're just going to spray it down and just tie it down with the melt belt really quickly and while that melt belt is on her head i am going to go ahead and conceal up the center part the side parts and also a uh, black spray the part so the parting area is already done and also with that melt belt being on the hairline it will protect the front of the lace from getting any black spray in it and everything like that so i'm going to add the melt belt add the clips and once um we are done removing the melt belt i'm just go ahead and style up the baby hairs and the curls will be the last thing that i do And we are giving scalp as we should. Come on now. Y'all see the y'all see, y'all see it. So we went ahead and added the butterfly clips, guys. And you can purchase the whole pack of 100 butterfly clips off Amazon. So just check Amazon, guys, and you will get these. And they only like a couple dollars, like literally. And you get a hundred of them, and they come in pink, light pink, dark pink, orange, yellow blue purple and lime green like they have different colors all uh, like you know different colors in a packet or whatever so amazon i know i'm an amazon queen you can find these exact clips right there on amazon but now it's time to get into the baby hair so i already went and cut it and i'm plucking out some of the hairs to thin it out and i will give it a nice little bump and then we're gonna swoop the swoop into the hair and also do a nice little curl sideburn as well
and this baby hair side is complete and i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side off camera but i am taking that hot comb and just sleeking it down right behind the ear and like i mentioned here is the other side that i did so both sides are complete and now we're gonna go ahead and get into curling this hair up so the first thing i did was i'm gonna take a little uh heat protecting spray spread um you know on the hair comb it through and i did not have my wand curler today so what i did was took my barrel curler and i wrapped the hair in the inside of the barrel and just kind of spin the hair around up in there and you know just drop the curl and that's basically what i'm gonna do to the whole entire head it's shari looking down at the curls i saw i ain't got no wine curl i wanted to see how it was gonna look girl i'm gonna go like let's be for real you know it's gonna do what it do regardless and it did okay so anywho yes like i said y'all i took the um hair wrapped it around the barrel and i just you know spin it around up in the curl do y'all see that heat that thing hot and just drop the curl and i'm just going to do that on her entire head so um i'm gonna show you guys you know a couple more pieces um do the ponytail and you know i'm gonna show you guys the finished look of it and this is all of the curls once i am done nice soft pretty so oh my god like so full like we love a full wig like a thick wig nice full parting space like mega look y'all did y'all big one with this 24 inch transparent body wave wig like y'all really did and i absolutely love it and i'm just finger combing the curls out and I'm going to do this to both sides. Then I'm going to show you guys the hair up close and personal. You know, you know how I do. Super cute. Shari looks so adorable. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning. Y'all want to be recorded this. So, and this girl went outside right after. I said, I know that's right. Get your hair done, lady. And get on, go on on out immediately after, period. Rawest hair in the club. You know, the, well, Shari don't go to clubs, but... I don't know what she went. She probably had a sneaky link. Who knows? <laughs> but nevertheless, yes, Shari is giving. Oh my God, the hair is laid. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, this hair is from Mega Look Hair. They're 13 by 6 transparent lace wig and a 24 inch body wave. Don't forget to check out the description details down below. Thank y'all for watching. Shari going to give y'all a 360, but I'm going to get up out of here. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.